Coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Ultimate Fighter winner Matt Serra and Damage. Fighting out of the blue corner is Damage. With endless cardio and world-class submission skills, he's as dangerous as anyone in the division when a matchup goes to the ground. And he'll be looking to take this fight there and keep it there until he secures the tap-out victory. A respected master of Henzo Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, Matt Serra has also shown UFC fans that he's just as dangerous when he chooses to stand and bang. This former welterweight champion is a dynamo anywhere the fight takes place. by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Pearl at the Palms in Las Vegas, it's time. In the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway. Damage! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of East Meadow, New York, Matt the Terror Sarah! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready, ready to get this fight started. Damage, Matt Sarah. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some UFC Undisputed 3 career mode. Going up against Matt Sarah yet again. He's gotten a couple victories over me, but you know, he's been aging a bit this game. You know, all the fights are pretty spread out, so he is aging, and I do think that I now have an advantage over him. He's 42 years old. And honestly, if I lose this match, I, I just shouldn't lose this match. I mean, there's not much to say about it. But um, regardless of what the game said before, I'm going to try to keep it standing. I, I love how the game always tells, um, you know, it always says in like that little intro thing that I'll be looking to take it to the ground. But, you know, with the exception of a few victories, I really don't win too much from the ground. So I'm going to be looking to keep this one striking. And I think that's really the only place where I have an advantage over him, Matt Sarah. Uh, actually, not even an advantage, just the only place where I feel like I can keep it even. Because I feel like once we get to the ground, he'll tap me out right away. So we're going to try to avoid that. And uh, that is not the best way to avoid it. Oh, shit. He's already got me mounted. Okay, let's get him off me. Let's go. There we go. All right, not too big of a deal. Already cut? Come on. Going to need to relax a bit. I don't think I've even connected with any of my shots. I think I need to start trying to hit him lower. Because I'm really, like, he blocks every single shot to the head. This is annoying. I, yeah, really, all I'm connecting with is low kicks. So, um, just going to try to stick to that. Let, let's just get the takedown. I don't care. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, not, not going to happen again. Try to take it to the ground, get some points, getting some good shots, and right away. Ah, uh, that is just annoying. He reverses everything I try to do on the ground. All right. Come on. Let's go. I need to start connecting with my shots if I want anything to happen for me here. I mean, he's connecting with a lot more shots, and oh, no, this is not a good position to be in. Can I get him pushed up against the cage? No, why can't I push him? Can, can I please push him, game? Are you going to let me do that? No, okay, then he's just going to pull guard right when we get to the cage. Great, fantastic, and he's going to reverse it. again. As soon as I try to move on the ground, he's reversing it. It's bullshit. Come on. All right. 
20 seconds. I don't think he's going to be able to get me done in the first round, but, uh... All right, let's try to get some shots in here at the end of the round. Oh, okay, shit. Let's see if I can get anything going right here at the end. Okay, so um, he, he won the first round for sure. I mean, it wasn't too big of a, uh, a deficit for me. I certainly think I can come back from it, but he did win that first round. Let's see what they have to say. Stay patient and too many transitions reversed. All right, pretty, pretty standard stuff for me. So uh, let's see how round two goes. Hopefully better. That would be the ideal here. I mean, I really... I, I keep going against him, and every time I choose the matchup, I'm confident. I really think that I'll have an opportunity to beat him for once. And he still gets the win. I if I get this loss, I'm going to try to get him again. You know, ma I feel like he's going to retire soon. I feel like when I'm finally better than him and ready to beat him, he's going to retire. Like, before I actually get it done. My last match of them, actually, he, uh, he tapped me out. But the match did uh, get nominated for Fight of the Year and came in second, so that was actually pretty cool. Like, I don't know why it wasn't that great of a fight, at least in my opinion, but it came in second for Fight of the Year. So that was pretty cool. It made for a good matchup, I guess. And oh, no, no, get, get me off the cage. Let's go. Let's just try to connect with some shots. That's really what I need to do. Uh, he, like, ducked into that, so it hit him a lot higher than where it should have. That was good. Oh, let's go. Better not reverse. If he catches my arm, I'm going to be pissed. All right, good. I I'm okay if he kicks me off, but if he catches my arm, that annoys me. All right, time, time to relax a bit. You can see I'm dropping my guard a bit. Kind of kind of getting fatigued. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no. No, no, no. All right, good thing. Let me get right back up. Okay, I'm starting to cheese a bit just doing the same thing over and over with those punches. Oh, nice Superman punch right there, though. All right, hold on. let's taunt him. See what happens if I taunt him. Maybe I get some momentum. I don't know. I know in, like, the WWE game, you get so much momentum when you taunt. I really don't know how it is in this game, like, what taunts actually do for you. But, uh, oh, almost had me right there. Oh, shit. Rocks me again? Come on. All right, there's no way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, don't let that be the fight. Yes, yes. Get up. Get up. Perfect. All right, I'm really scared right now. I feel like he's going to knock me out. I want to avoid that. Getting knocked out is not fun. Oh, shit. There it is. All right. Well, that is it. He is now 3-0 and against me, I believe. But I will get a victory over him at some point. I need to train a bit more before I'm ready. Oh, he, he's pretty cut up, though. I don't know how he just did that cartwheel. It seems like he's pretty beat up as well. Wow, his eyes are, like, really busted open. Well, anyway, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you don't mind taking the extra couple seconds out of your day to drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to my channel and you want to keep up with me, keep up with my videos, go ahead and subscribe. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.